Hey, so today I'm going to be doing a video on stair guiders. So, um, pretty much why you want a stair guider is because you can shoot farther with it typically than your normal trapdoor or anything like that. And the reason I need to make a video on this is because there are a couple um, differences that you need to use or that you need to do to make this um, work, like to make a stair work as a as a barrel. So, yeah. So I'm going to get right into it. So. Um, really quickly the main difference that you need is you need a different type of uh, barrel to uh, redirect the TNT and you need to game tick everything that's shooting sand so that includes your red sand and your main sand booster but I'll get a little bit far, er, more in depth in a second so first let's work on the actual barrel part so let me show you what I mean so when you're when you're shooting all your stuff into your stair you want to make sure that it's properly lined up so it doesn't hit the bottom of the stair and it doesn't fly over right so you would usually have your power oh, I typed in power all right you'll have your power here um, to you know uh, when you're making a, a parallel fusion and so you have your first slab on the ground here and the reason this is is so that you want to make sure that it doesn't dip and end up like like sliding on the ground and just hit the slab here because that's not what you want to do that would just shoot it straight right you don't want to hit the bottom of the slab you want to hit in or sorry you don't want to hit the bottom of the stair you want to hit it in between this like little gap here because that's where you can get the most exposure so you want this bottom one to make sure it doesn't dip and you also want a um, top one to make sure that it doesn't go over the stair and it just goes in that pocket so you just need to put something like this and that's perfect that's all you need for your guider or for you know your, your barrel part um, and let me show you a little bit more in depth about game ticking so uh, if, if you as you can see in the um, stair you can or yeah, in the stair you can see that it's like a little bit it looks like a slab here right um, just like half of this and it pretty much is a slab so y this is a an actual slab and as you probably know um, you can put a TNT onto slabs oh they'll blow up but you you know they won't despawn or anything you know you can you can do that it's perfectly fine um, but if you put sand on a slab it will obviously despawn so pretty much what game taking does is we're trying to make it make the sand hit at the least possible timing so it doesn't fall down and break on this slab part it just hits there like the the back of the you know the backboard thingy of this stair and then it's shot out so it, it doesn't have time to fall so um, let me show you what I mean if we take our blaze rod which will show us our timings um, let's count so for first gonna go to our power um, oh yeah by the way this is an ugly cannon it's not even a cannon it's just a demonstration thing so yeah um, I don't have like I said you have to game tick your red sand and your um, main sand your your sand booster like your, your main sand comp booster but I'm not gonna attach a whole sand comp on here because you can uh, but I'll, I'll show you over there when I actually um, uh, do it right so when I when I actually put it together so yeah first let's count ticks so in our power we have 11 redstone ticks as you can see right here so we have 11 redstone ticks till this is uh, ticked off and if we count um, for this booster which is shooting our red sand and usually our hammer not hammer in this case because it's just an example um, we have seven all right uh, So we have this shouldn't be on seven. We have eight plus this, and we're gonna represent this as two point five here. So we have we have uh, two point five plus eight, which is obviously ten point five, and we have eleven, which is perfect. So we have a point five difference between this booster and this booster, which is what we want. We want as least distance as possible. 
even if it was 10 and 11, like this was on 10 and that was on 11, it wouldn't work. So we need 10.5 and 11. So you just need to make sure that you can game tick everything that you're boosting with sand so that it, it has a 0.5 difference from your power. So let me show you this. As you can see, it works fine. I'm going to show you a little bit of a better view. Alright, so now let me show you if I even just mess with the tick a little bit. So this will be on what? Uh, what did I say? This will be on 9.5, and that's an 11. You'll see the sand actually breaks on the slab. It's kind of hard, I mean, the stair, it's kind of hard to see, but um, because it's going so fast, but it's breaking. And even if you had it one more delayed, so say you had it on 12.5, it'd be shooting after your power, so it wouldn't even make it to the stair before your power shot. So that's what that's just the importance of game ticking and why you need to do that with the stair barrel. So let's actually put this into a cannon. So I'm just gonna pretend that this is a, like, you know, say that you wanna use a, a practical, use it in a practical situation. So say you have a trap door cannon and you wanna make it into stair. Well, it's super easy. And I'll show you how to do it right now. Or say you just wanna make your own from scratch, just um, follow the same steps. So what will happen is you'll have your typical sand everything, um, Go up, hit the trap door, and you know, do do whatever your para parafusion stuff. So um, let's change this into a stair. So what you might have to do, um, usually you have your trap door um, power a little bit like one block lower, so you might have to raise your power up depending on the cannon. But this is fine because we're gonna have a. Uh, a um, uh, slab guider like I showed you and you don't have to put on every single block here but I just do because it looks good and if you're confused on why you don't have to just watch my TNT mechanics video and yeah so anyway we have our slab lined up perfectly you know so it'll go into this pocket of your your stair and now let's work on game ticking so obviously when we are uh, if you're, okay, so if you're confused about what I'm about to say, just watch my timings video, timing your cannon. But we're going to have our um, hammer and our red sand go off on the second power. Or also look at my fusions video. But um, so we're going to have it on the second power. And for this cannon, the second power is on the right side. And to make this easier, we're going to um, just count ticks from a certain point. We can count from the button, or you can just count from where they split. So this is the second power, and this is my booster for my red sand and my hammer. The hammer does, part doesn't really matter, it's just about the red sand, because remember you need a game to take your sand boosters. So, um, let's count. So on our on our second power, we have nine red sand ticks. All right, and on our booster right now, we have six. So we want it to be 8.5, right? 8.5 and then nine for our power. So, all we have to do is, um, as we remember, we're saying our, um, what's it called? Our, um, uh, what am I saying? Uh, we're saying our, our uh, game ticking is one point or 2.5 uh, red stone ticks, right? So we want it to be 8.5 and 9. So all we need to do is add these two, and that will end up being 8.5 and 9. So great. Um, that's good. And now let's game tick our send. So let's find a centralized point where they split. So it splits around here. So let's count. Obviously, our sand's going to be going off on our first power. So this one, this time we have to count from our first power. So 18. Right? And then let's count for our sand. So we go boom, boom, boom. So this is on 16. So we need um, uh, so we need it to be 
uh, 2.5, we need to add 2.5. So if we add 2.5, it will be 18.5 for our um, sand, which will be 0.5 after our power. So we actually need to connect it from a different point. So instead of counting this repeater, we're just going to line, take a line off and uh, and um, so we're just taking a repeater off. So it'll actually be 15. So 15 plus 2.5 is uh, 17.5. So 17.5 and 18 work because our sand is 0.5 um, is 0.5 earlier than our uh, power, which is at uh, 18. So I don't know why it's so hard for me to concentrate today, but <laughs> anyway, so there you go. Now everything should be powered up because your sand booster and your hammer boost or your, your red sand booster are 0.5 before each of your powers. So now the last thing we have to do is just test it and see if it works. So you'll know if it doesn't work because none of your, your either your sand or your red sand won't shoot out. But um, we have a little bit of a line here for our AP. Let me turn explosions on. Let's fire it. Let's give it a second. Alright, so we know it works. There we go. Um, that's pretty much it. Stair, stair barrels are, are, are uh, yeah, stair guiders are, or barrels are not, not hard at all. So if you have any questions or anything like that, just let me know in the comments. If you need me to explain something better, again, let me know in the comments and I'll be sure to get back to you. See ya.